Hi everyone, my name is Raina and this is my friend Luann and we are so happy that you could join us today for Marked by Prayer. Marked by Prayer is our chance to get into the Word, have some good conversation about God and start our day in the right way. So you have joined us in the midst of a great series. It's the I Am series, the names of God. Yeah, and this series, it's all about that God meets us in our need. Whatever it is, um, we are introduced to the different names of God, the different character traits, the nature of God, mm -hmm. as we see that whatever our need is, um, the great I Am will meet us there. That's right, and, and as we discover his names, we get to know him better and, and it's like a, a multifaceted diamond we could learn a little facet but we never get to oh, the end absolutely yeah. and so so far we've talked about um, God is the God who sees us mm -hmm. um, when we talked about Hagar yesterday we talked about um, or uh, we talked about God being our all-sufficient one mm -hmm. El Shaddai right right and and in the story, we've been sort of camped out in Abraham and Sarah and Hagar and, and how God has revealed his name. So today we're going to do El Olam, which transfers or translates rather to the eternal God or the everlasting God and how God exists outside of time. We struggle to manage our planners and our schedules and all of those things. God does not. He doesn't even exist in our realm of time. He is he was, he is, he forever is. And that's such a hard concept, mm -hmm. I think, for us yeah. very finite beings to really grasp that our God exists outside of time. You yeah. know, the song that really kind of brings this to mind for me is An Amazing Grace. You know, that one um, passage or one stanza that says, um, when we've been here 10,000 years, mm -hmm. bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing his praise than when we first begun. And mm -hmm. that, it just blows my mind to think that um, that eternal uh, nature of God, that right. he is, I mean, ongoing. And that is, it just amazes me. Yeah, he's the God of all ages, of all ages. Um, so before we give the verse, which is going to be in Genesis 21, um, it's verse 33. We're going to unpack the story a little bit. Um, uh, you want to? Well, yeah, the, uh, the uh, eternal God, the everlasting God, you have mm -hmm. to kind of know a little bit of the backstory. And you've heard, as you said, mm -hmm. um, some of that about Abraham and Sarah. Um, but if you go back all the way to Genesis 12, okay. um, and God has made this covenant promise um, to Abraham. He, he promises him land. He promises him descendants. He promises him provision and protection. protection yeah. um, and so, um, you know, this is... God, uh, Abraham has seen some of it. Mm -hmm. He's seen some of those promises come true. But he hasn't seen all of it. He has seen his son Isaac born, right? Um, but he still hasn't seen um, this provision of land that God has promised, him. right? And we talked about it being um, already and not yet. And gosh, isn't that where we all live, right? We we live with already knowing the faithfulness of God and and seeing Him work in our lives. But we've got those things that are still. Uh, not done to our liking, maybe, or not wrapped up all the way, or or haven't been fulfilled with what with what God says, and and we're wondering, you know, is it going to come through? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and I think that that Raina, you know, for me, as I think about that, is it's like this continuous um, act of trust, mm -hmm. like. I've seen God's faithfulness, all the what you said, the the God of all already. already. But not yet mm -hmm. for that other thing, yeah. and so it's it's like this continuous um, act of trust um, that I have seen God's faithfulness; He has come true, and I will see God's faithfulness um, going forward. And right. so I think um, that's the, where Abraham is, right? Yeah. I mean, basically, that's that's his situation in a nutshell. When God reveals this name of Hey, I am the everlasting God. Yeah, I am outside of time. Mm -hmm. So you want to read um, this passage. This is from uh, Genesis 21, verse 33, where God um, reveals this name um, to Abram. Right, and it says, Abraham planted a tamarisk tree in Beersheba, and there he called upon the name of the Lord, the eternal God. And Abraham stayed in the land of Philistines for a long time. Yeah, so, so he was he was in this place, this place of already and not yet, 
and still he was choosing to worship God. Yeah, and, and I think this is a great reminder for us that when we find ourselves mm -hmm. in, the, uh, in that in-between time, the, the in-between the already and not yet, is to remember that our God, who introduces himself as eternal, he's above time, he's, he's already got it in hand. We don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, it will happen. Yeah, it will happen. And we, we don't need to do like Abraham and Sarah and try to make it happen no. and make a mess. <laughs> <Please don't. laughs> yeah, so um, let's pray and ask God um, to help us to see that he is our eternal God, mm -hmm. uh, the, the God of that in-between time um, and is over time. So Father God, we just come before you today, Lord. We thank you that you are our eternal God. You are El Alam. And so, Father, we just come and we just give you praise and we give you thanks, Lord. And I pray for each of us that wherever we are today and that in between time, the, the times that we've seen you faithful before, Lord, but perhaps we are still looking toward what has not come to fruition yet. Father, help us to be patient. Help us to, to trust in you, um, recognizing that this is our opportunity to lean in closer to you, the God who is eternal, the one who is outside of time, who sees the beginning and the end. And so, Father, we just give you praise and thanks, Lord. And Lord, our eyes are on you and we place our trust in you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow to hear the sermon. We look forward to seeing you next time.